Team Europe to break. Well, last night, the Jeremy Jones, David Alcady frame that will be talked about for many a year. One thing that hasn't been mentioned, it lasted 16 minutes because of congestion of a number of balls on the top cushion. Deja vu. Well, I'll be honest with you, Phil, I felt, I was commentating, I felt like it lasted a lot longer. Oh, what a frame that was, what a rack. There's so much tension and so many fantastic safety play and so many quirky things happen. It was just had everything in that one rack right there. But yes, like you say, this potentially could be a deja vu moment. Just wondering whether, if I can get there. Before that, whether the two-three combo was on. Now, of course, the seven is in the equation. There's Jeremy Jones, my pal, from the commentary box for many a tournament. I thought he took adversity with great grace last night. One of those things it happens to everyone brain freeze it happened of course to a, a european pairing right at the start of the week eklund catchy and albin Auschen, they lost their match as a direct result of playing out of turn yes and um, what a lot of people maybe don't realize is the tension the pressure and in that moment the brain can freeze <laughs> literally and we've seen it time and time again i'm sure we'll see it now On the face of it, lucky, but can Filler find the gap and chip the one ball in? I would say not. It just looks like um, it can't quite reach far enough up the rail in order to do that. It's coming off the side rail instead. making it very obvious that he wants his extension. He's already used, Shane's already used their extension. Tyler's nice and quick there. Skyler, I said Tyler, you know them two names, Phil. Do I keep getting them tongue twisted? There watching the screen, not with the headphones on. On the right hand side is Marcel Eckhart, tremendous Q Sports referee, not just in pool but in snooker. He was absolutely correct last night. No ifs, buts, or maybes. Well, for one second there, I thought the cue ball was going to break up that little cluster. Start the clock, please. 
Shane will be happy that it's not. However, ball in hand here. Are they going to go all out aggressive? Make the one to break it up? Well, if you want aggression, Filler and Shaw are the two to provide it. So what I think there, Phil, is getting this, trying to move the seven ball out the way, bring the cue ball down to the, what is going to look the left side of the table, so they can make that two-three combination that you'd suggested That's earlier. But here, no contact made with a rail. John Lehman was right there, and so ball in hand for the Americans. Quirky old rack, this. And just one shot can completely open up the entire table. Could be very valuable this because it's against the breaker, remember. Surely the great Shane Van Boning will not miss a pot like this. Good start for the Americans. It was all about the foul stroke from Jason Shaw. It just shows the, the fine margins in this game. John Lehman was perfectly positioned. He anticipated what might happen. That blue two ball in Lehman's eyes did not touch the cushion. We'll give a second view to it. And from there, you have to say John was right. Yes, it was a very close call, but like you said, Phil, John was stood in the perfect position to see it firsthand. Yeah. The shot but was the pinnacle shot there, I was just, the one before the when Joshua the had the ball in hand. I didn't want to see it um, and he left Jason yeah. in that position, unfortunately. I think that underlines the great arm. Fond, including a small role in the Sopranos. Rack really? number two. I did not know that. Current score is 1 0 in favor of Team USA. Team USA to break. So, a good break-off in terms of the balls being scattered here, there and everywhere. In goes the one, but the two is obstructed. Or do you think you like a push? Push will not be hooked. We're going to get hooked, got to jump, right? Got to jump. Unless you want to push out right here and play the two rail kick. 
I don't like it. I'd rather jump. Right. Extension. Extension, please. Jump, all right? I think so. Well, you can see the two choices they have. They've got a choice of a push out, but Skyler is really firm on, on his pre prefer to jump. His preparation is to jump here, and Shane was more about elected for the push out. However, Skyler seems confident in this one. And there he has it. <laughs> Good call on Skyler Woodward. And when it comes to pool, when it comes to shot choices, one man's meat is another man's poison. He wanted to jump. And his decision has been well and truly vindicated. Stuck to his guns, arguing, if you'll like, or arguing his point with the, the senior player on the pairing. And in the end, Skyler was quite correct. Tell you what, there's a, a person in the audience who keeps whistling just as the American players pull the cue back to play the shot. We don't want to hear that. It's not good. It's happened more than once. I've been listening specifically. Delicate shots have been required in this rack. Shane's speed was off a little bit on one of them. And Skyler come back with a beautiful shot down the rail and some lovely, delicate, great cue ball control. Shots to follow. He's playing well, Phil. He is. He's been the shining light of the American team so far as Skyler Woodward. Just maybe the comeback is on. Van Boning and Woodward lead by two racks to zero. These two have represented the USA on more than one occasion in the World Cup of Football. They've never won it together, but they have reached the final. I can't get it. And Jeremy Jones there has renewed hope. OK, it's only a small amount of hope. But the momentum, at least, in a minor way, is in their direction. Shane Van Boning personally, has not had a, a good Moscone Cup at all. Very small return given his status within the game and his talent. But Skylar Woodward, a former MVP, has again showed that in most Moscone Cups he really responds. He didn't last year when the Americans lost with a full day to spare. He played Rack poorly on that three, occasion, but scores. here, Two to zero, much better. Team USA, Team Europe to break. Let's go, Jason. First time off the break, Kelly. A reasonably open rack. Not ideal, but open. Yeah, um, as we can see, really, the key shot is this one ball getting the right 
angle on the two because the three ball only goes into, as we're looking at it, the top left pocket. Of course, or the side pocket. True, yeah. It's nice and smooth. Little help there off the Purtle 5 to get that cue ball up for the 3 into the side pocket, as we said. Shaw's mantra is really funny. Always says to his partners, look, just put me anywhere. As long as I can see it to pot it, I'll knock it in. I was under pressure myself there. is a big one it's not the easiest of combinations just because of where that cue ball's landing landed near the cushion yes no doubt what a combo six nine what a combo Shaw and Phillip the most intense potentially dramatic night of any pool year is underway the final day of the Moscone Cup and the first doubles is turning out to be absorbing
the Kazoo Moscone Cup, the Not annual transatlantic tussle. The peak two of the pool world. In favor of Team USA. Team USA to break. USA breaking off, trying to pull off what would be a gargantuan recovery. Well, we can see here that there's not really an easy safe. That's what they're contemplating. Do they play a one-two combination? That's a tough one. Clip the one ball and come back up and down the table. You can see it's tricky. That's why they're talking and taking some time to think. Extension, please. It's not ideal to take your extension so early in Iraq because obviously dilemmas might crop up later on, but sometimes you have to. You knew that cue ball was heading towards the pocket because he was right behind it. He knew immediately that the six ball was going to be evaded and that the white was going to drop. little edgy that one from Josh Filler short of where he wanted to be but nothing seems to phase Jason Shaw Jason's asked for the cue ball to be cleaned, and as we can see, the time Stay clock is please. still going down. And it's got the crowd going a little bit. Obviously, it was a pretty rough start, but uh, there's nothing in it. 2-2, two, two, it's nicely poised. Is it the sort of the pay-per-view four tonight with these four starting? Yeah, 100%. We kind of figured out, you know, who the fans' pick would be in the singles and the doubles, and obviously it's not disappointed. Just the way Jason and Joshua play the game, they're always going to get that fans' pick. What was the message this morning? Woo! Ah, well, right. Not the start. What's the, what's the message this morning? Let's just get this done early. Yeah, get it done, because we're going to be in the pub by now, baby. Yeah, well, you might want to, but yeah, some of us have got to go home. But look, 
in all seriousness, yesterday, that was a stunning performance. Did you just tell them yesterday, you better turn this around, and they did? Yeah, we had a team meeting at 12 o'clock. Uh, me and Alex had stern words, and we sort of left him in the room. We walked off for a cup of tea. And we, Number we five. Our current uh, score is two. Wow, well, they actually listened to you. Right, let's get back to the game. Europe to break. Shaw breaks off. In goes the one. Will the two be available? Oh, no. What's it done? Beautiful break there and looking like it was going to be perfect on the two all the way until the purple five just rolls perfectly in front of it. Joshua's going for a big shot here. Great jumper. Well, 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 it's going their way. Um, just a smile from Joshua there. What else can he do? Well, it's karma because, of course, he was the the player who was on the receiving end when Tyler Steyer had that outrageous fluke on the eight ball in their singles on evening number two. Extension. Extension, please. much better pot than it looked these middle pockets are cut brutally 20 seconds oh no my extension right can you cut it in yeah come on kid got 15 seconds No problem to Joshua Filler. Go, Jason Dave. said, are you going to cut it in? And he said, yep. And there he has it, right into the center of the pocket. Yes. He's so dependable, isn't he, Jason? Sure, he makes these pots look as though they're routine of course if Europe win this doubles match and then he follows up in the singles and it's all over he will be MVP for the second year in a row and the way he's played I think that's entirely justified he's playing very well this competition I've never quite seen Jason so fired up he has played great To being 2-0 down, Europe hit the front in this doubles at 3-2. They were lucky in that, there's no doubt about it. The, the jump shots on the two resulting in the flu. But when you get luck, you've got to take advantage of it. But then when I seen the cue ball floating, I thought maybe I could have punched it harder and got you up a little bit more. You did everything right, pal. All good. So this was the pivotal ball, trying to jump the two into the middle pocket. Just overcut it, but off the eight, and just about went in. And those rolls, Kelly, in these short races particularly, make all the difference. It never went. 100%, nine ball can be a cruel game. When it's going against you, and a lovable game when it's going for you. The difference in the feeling is night and day. It can be just one lucky shot, one fluke, it turns the match completely upside down. And by their very nature, the lengthier matches, which you see in these big money matches, sometimes 100, 200 racks, they level out the luck, don't they? But over the best Rack of nine number six current score it is can be in so influential team Europe team USA to break mm. 
a nice solid break from Shane. We can see there the two. Ball has gone near that nine again. That nine's moving down the way. Here's a little trickier than it looks. The one ball's not the problem, making there? the ball. It's missing that eight ball with the cue ball draw? to miss the eight so we can get around the table to get on that two. That's what the tricky part of it is. If that eight ball wasn't there, it'd be no problem. I can the one by the cue ball behind the eight. Unless you can go around. Yeah, but I'm going to hit one of these. Yeah, he's right. That eight ball is a yeah, huge blocker good. right now huh? you, for what could have been a much easier path for the cue ball. Probably the best shot there. Keep control of the table. Be patient and wait for your opportunity. Extension. Extension, please. I'm going to kick it this way. I'm going to go this way. Okay. Let's go. Struck that maybe a little too sweetly. You can cut it. Extension. Extension, please. You like, you like playing this way? I'll probably hit it huh? medium speed and then put draw on it. If you put, put top draw. on it, it might go forward. So I think it's just put like maybe in the middle and just hit it medium speed. Well, it looks like it got the speed good there, that four ball, the pink four clear path into that side pocket. Even off the six ball. <laughs> yeah, couldn't see enough to pot it directly, so just using the six. Great shot maker, Shane Van Boning. And a great shot there from Skyler also. One more good shot, rolling up for the seven ball into the side. Could leave a quite straightforward run out to take this rack. You right here? For all intents and purposes, it's all tied up. Well, what a good match this is, exactly as we anticipated. It is 3-3, everything to play for. It started out as the best of nine, it's now the best of three.
if you save a doubles action Rack in the Kazoo Moscone seven. Cup. We are all tied up at three games apiece. Team Europe to break. Well, enjoy the next two or three racks because after this it's singles all the way. And you know, when we talked about go, the lag right at the start of the match and we said it could be important, that's being borne out now. A possible three racks left. Europe will break in two of them. And Kelly, given the potting prowess of these two, this rack is barring the pressure almost in the books. Yes, you don't like to say too much too early, being the commentator, but this, in all intents and purposes, should. Ooh, see? As soon as I open my mouth, Phil, it should be over in one visit. Joshua just let the cue ball go a little wild there. Stanchi. I still fancy Jason Stanchi, Shaw please. to make this purple five. The way he's been potting so far this evening, so far this week, it's as though nothing phases him whatsoever. That did. Wow. I think I'm better saying nothing. <laughs> I did take some responsibility. I sort of led you into it. Attention, please. What a gift for the Americans. Definitely an unexpected miss there from Jason. I think his first of the evening. It wasn't the easiest of shots, but nor was it the hardest. It was unexpected for sure. Leaving USA now an open table, three balls to take the lead. And bear in mind, that break-off statistic I was talking about now favours America. They're breaking off next. The advantage very much with Woodward and Van Bailey really now. All in. about Shaw's miss. I'll break it. He has been so reliable that when he misses one, it really does come as a, a shock to the system. Trying to hold the cue ball onto the Brown seven foot position on the six. I think that's what did him in. I think had he just been a, a routine pot with. Van Boning and Woodward breaking off remember get a vital point on the board and maybe spark an almighty USA fight back with this format with these players you can take nothing for granted more of a smile on the Americans faces when Carl Boys in the interview with Michael Bridge said we want to be in the pub by nine I was just a little concerned about that. Don't want to tempt fate. Rack number eight. Team well, USA well, to break the four to three and on the hill. USA are thinking completely the opposite. They're here for the night.
nothing is a given. In the UK Championship snooker many moons ago, the late great Willie Thorne was 7-1 up after the first session against a, a Scottish lad called Drew Henry. They went out to play the second session. His pal said, what time shall I book the table, Willie? He said, 8 o'clock, I'll be finished by then. Henry heard him say it, got fired up and won 9-8. These things can happen. Well, we heard a little growl there from from Shane, and uh, well, hey, good try. just right. got it in the right thing, yeah. just not quite hard enough, all but an inch or not even. I knew it would have been in trouble. Now, I think they have a, a shot at it. Well, if he was going to miss it, overcutting far better than undercutting. You can try to hit it full into the eight, try to come short. Extension. Extension, please. Or I can focus on the cue ball only and try to get the cue ball behind the eight. But the two balls gonna be over there. Have to gamble. I know. That's why I'm saying. Unless you uh, thin the ball, and then you can come over right here. I mean, down here it might be safe, but you can't get position on the four. You got two options. I like hitting it thick. Well, it's great to hear them discussing the options. Ultimately, it's up to the player at the table what they feel most comfortable with and what they want to execute. Extension, please. The disgusted way that Shane Van Boding picked up his chalk there tells you what he thought of that shot and the possible consequences. Now, the probable consequences. just drifted on slightly more than Shaw ideally wanted but he's so good with side beautiful running side shot off a couple of cushions
We are going all the way. Not for the first time in the Moscone Cup. We've seen a number of Hill Hill contests. And we've got another one here. Shane Van Boning looking stern. The reason for that, it was his mistake that led to that. And also, Europe are breaking off in the rap that matters most, Kelly. Well, we said it was going to be an uh, e exciting, close match. And you can't ask for any more, Phil. There's the odd mistake, but there's some fantastic runouts. And uh, I think we all wanted to see it go close. And here we are, Hill Hill, shooting for what is a massive point, especially for both teams, but for USA it's so important for them to get this point to bring that gap slightly closer. Europe are looking to get on the hill. Rack number nine, we are all tied at four games apiece. Team Europe to break on the hill. Oh, the last little nudge with eight on cue ball means that he's got direct sighting to the two. Come on, kid. It's your speciality. We've got plenty of time. We've got 50 seconds. Come on, kid. Believe me. It's going to slide away from there. Come on, 100%. If you play it with high, the cue ball's going to squirt away from that now. I'm not going to hit anything. Come on, kid. Extension, John. Extension, please. Come on, kid. You're the man. I have to hit it hard. Kind of slow roll. Come on, kid. You're the man. Well, first things first, really good pot. Yes. What a shot. If the Europeans win this rack, they can't win the match, but they can break Americans' hearts. Extension, please. Kelly, not an enviable position to be in. Skyler's got to sort something out. Well, it's, it's not an easy kick. Oh, they did miss that by, by a way. He wasn't really close, to be honest. When you're playing into a cushion that's so close to the cue ball, it really is difficult to judge the angle. And Woodward was nowhere near. But Europe are near, near victory. Tuck yourself in, Jason. The tension is palpable. It really is sweaty palms time. It's that in here. Lord knows what they're feeling. 
I know, Phil, I'm feeling it. I'm sat here staring at the screen here, feeling the intensity. Well, I think it'd rather have been a bit higher up that cushion, with less angle on this. But it is the natural angle. If it makes the eight ball, the cue ball is naturally coming down for the nine. What a pot! What nerve! Shaw now has the simplest of tasks. He's milking it, and why not? Joshua Filler. Stepping up to the plate, and then his partner finally getting oh. over the line. They were pushed all the way. What a cracking opening to the evening! Have fun. But Shaw and Filler have fun doing what they say on the 10. Brilliant potters, and in the end, that made all the difference. So Europe are doubling up on the USA. They lead.